Look like you're gonna jump on it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Are you? Are you? Yeah. Like, get it, boy. What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to our podcast. Hi. This is Rainy from the Journals of Awakening. And I am Benjamin, also known as Ben, or the Journals. And this is our <laughs> first shot at a video podcast. And we have no idea what we're doing. Nope. But we're gonna try this out. We're gonna sit nice and pretty so you guys can stare at us as we have our arguments. I mean conversations. He's gonna puke again. Oh no. So I'm just talking about the cat, by the way. <laughs> so, um a couple of days ago we we'll just wash the blanket. A couple of days ago <laughs> a couple of days ago we made a podcast I'll wash the blanket. On pets and loss. <laughs> and we made the podcast because my childhood cat passed away um recently my cat mog he's 10 years old has been getting sick and i'm not quite sure why he then went to the rescue so i saved my blanket is it acid yep okay so a couple days ago. Like with pets, yeah. Mog has have been... To clean that. He's been getting sick, and we don't know why. Yesterday, he... <clears throat> he ate a fine amount. <clears throat> it really cleared up. And then, all of a sudden, today, he's back to the way he was two days ago. So, I think something's just irritating his stomach lining, and we're not quite sure what. But... And, and he's puking a little acid, you know? Yeah. And I know most people are going to say, well, get them to the vet. Uh, you know how much that costs, right? Like, uh, first of all, our car won't make it <laughs> to the freaking vet. So that's a risk in itself. So we're trying to just monitor. And she, her boss is an ex-vet, right? Uh, no, she's not she a vet. She fought in NAM? No. This is like, <laughs> that's borderline offensive. Um, no, she's worked at a lot of veterinarian clinics and specifically cat clinics. But she keeps telling me to get him to the vet as well. Really? Um, well, that's the first time you said that. <laughs> we might get him to the vet. We're yes. gonna keep watching him. I we can't. It's Christmas. Most vets are closed tomorrow too, so there's nothing we can really do until Tuesday, and then we'll just see how he is by then. Um, my, you know, the worst thing that could happen is he goes to the vet. Yeah. Because he's active. He's doing everything normal, except now his belly's hurting. Yeah. So we can take him to the vet. Yes. We, we do. Can have the ability at this current time to get yes. him to the vet. So we will go with that and see what happens. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, everybody knows. comes with hardships. Mm -hmm. and having five cats, it's a stupid idea when you're poor. <laughs> it's a very dumb idea. In my opinion, yeah. And we won't ever have five cats again once it dwindles down. But, no. <laughs> um, I think that this... The podcast started on a weird note. It sure did, and that's not at all what we expected. So let's talk about something more intimate. Intimate? Yeah, because there's a ring light on my face right now, and I didn't think about it. So. It's very low. Oh, he's going to turn it up. Okay. So. Ooh. How you like them apples? They bright, baby. I'm Mercury ahead. is retrograding. Mercury is retrograding. Yeah, should I take my glasses off? It no, probably reflects. If you really want to, but yeah, there you go. Anything. So, Mercury is retrograding, which means that communication is going awry. And what's awry? Like when you're on a straight and narrow path, and then it like goes like that. You know, like it. A swindle. Yeah, it's a juke. I know all these words, but she, she used awry. So, <laughs> um. It's weird. I'm, I'm trying to talk to the camera and the microphone, so I'm like. Well, you should talk to the camera <laughs> and myself. The camera, yourself, and the microphone? Uh, because, because Mercury is going retrograde, you have to make sure to stay on top of things that could otherwise lead to a miscommunication. It... <laughs> Always remember to love your wife. <laughs> yes, and to communicate clearly because things can get misconstrued. I think that when it comes to relationships, if things are getting misconstrued, you need intimacy. And I'm not just talking about like, 
that pillow talk. No, you know what no, I'm it's saying? A physical connection. No, yeah. is what no, I was. <laughs> I'm talking about quiet time. A shower with pillow no talk? expectations. What's pillow talk? Pillow talk is like the sweet stuff you say before you have sex. What? Yeah, like pillow talk. Interesting. I'm pretty sure. Huh. Talk on the pillow. That's cool, it's like kids. exactly how it sounds. Good, good uh, analogy. Yeah. Analogy. <laughs> analogy. So, <laughs> so, um... I'm very hearing yeah. impaired. I want everybody to know that. I'm... <laughs> most of the time I say words wrong because I've heard them wrong my whole life, so... And yes. nobody's had the balls to correct me. Rainy does, though. All the time. Oh, so yeah. now I realize. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, how are you feeling? Like, hmm. like recently, hmm. let's get deep into it, huh. you know, between us, you know, how are things going? Fantastic. You feel, yeah? yeah. I mean, I, I think the same thing. I think there's blips here and there, but I don't think that affects the overall. So this morning. Uh oh. This, this morning, Ben's like, you know, I talked about this on my live yesterday. And here's what busts my balls. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> I didn't use the word busts my balls. <laughs> uh, he from. said that. I drink one cup of coffee, and it's usually a big cup, and he drinks two. So if I'm going to drink a cup of coffee, I need to make the first pot, because he can get two cups out of one pot. And so if I make the first pot, he can get two cups out of the end of that pot and the next pot. Which means I make coffee, and she makes coffee. It balances. So I got mad. <laughs> because I... He didn't I never drank coffee. Because he didn't communicate it with <laughs> yes. me. So the first thing I said was, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it bothered you. I was 24 hours late with my communication. Yes. Yeah. That's but a he, lot. But he it's came just, at me. Fair. Like, fair, I should have yeah. known the second it's he fair. realized that he was irritated. She should have watched my life. Yeah, I was at work. <laughs> That's true. Uh, <laughs> she has, like, a real job. <laughs> uh, I... She's so, motivated. I then proceeded to just <laughs> bury myself in a corner because I was mad and I didn't know how to deal with my feelings because he was telling me... There's that word. What? Feelings, feelings. or deal? Feelings. Deal it out. Baby. Um, and then he said, I'm sorry. And I said... I did. Yeah. And he said, I'm sorry I was so aggressive with my tone. And that's how I said it too. I'm sorry I was so aggressive. You know, with my tone. With my tone. That's how I am with the kids, too. Hey, Dad's not mad at you. I'm just mad in general. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. <laughs> so I said, I stood up and I said, I'm sorry. I'll go make you, I'll go finish that cup of coffee. He said, why haven't you gotten your coffee? And I said, well, because you bitched at me. Yeah, because I was like ready for my second cup and there was still coffee in the machine. And I told him I was waiting for him to get a second cup so I could make myself my own pot. Right. And then I said, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll just finish that pot and I'll make you a new pot. So that's what I did. Then it was good. So yeah, we were being petty little bitches and we figured it out. But it's because we were so open with our communicate. We were it's so true. understanding about yep. our lack of communication. Well, and comfortable enough, enough around each other to where we could be that vulnerable. Because yes. I was in an angry state. You know, we were still in that state of mind, but we had to snap somehow and say, I love you, kind of thing. Because I said, why haven't you started your live? And he said, well, I can't go live until we're good. And I was like, that's what I said. That's so nice of you to say that you care about You didn't say that. No. You didn't say anything. I thought it in my brain. Oh, that's nice to know. I was like, that's so nice. Okay, we better clear this up right now because he obviously, yeah, he he put me first and that meant a lot. So I'm going to get right with you. (laughs) So that's what we did. And hold up. Get right with you. You remember that song? <laughs> yeah, right? I do. Oh, I love that song. So the communication is so important when Mercury's retrograding because Mercury's the planet of communication. My Mercury's in Leo, and being a Mercury in Leo, I really think I'm the shit. And so the way I communicate is That's why very she stole like the show this morning. Yeah, the way <laughs> I communicate is very like stole the show. <laughs> But, like, on accident. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Ben communicates as a... Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's really easy to, you know, and it balances itself out because his Mercury's an Earth sign and mine's a fire sign. So it, it he grounds me very easily. But it's... um Grounded! It's also kind of frustrating because I always think that I 
am right. And <laughs> <laughs> you have a right complex. <laughs> yes, I do. And when he told me that the coffee, that if I wanted a cup of coffee, I needed to make the first cup, it was an entirely fair thing to ask. Right. But I had never heard of it before. And I hadn't even thought of it. I'm like, why can't you just make the fucking? Coffee? Why can't you make it twice? Yeah, I'm that's like. So well, I said. So, um, <laughs> so that's why I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it bothered you. And he said, Well, yeah, it did bother me because that's why I brought it up. <laughs> and I <laughs> trying to communicate, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> um. So be open with your partner. Always, it's important. Otherwise, you know, the more and more you don't say, the more and more you're gonna be deeper in that freaking hole right yeah and then a lot and it's of it's gonna be hard to connect and then yeah. you're gonna start connecting and you're gonna be like well it all started five weeks ago right and then you're gonna have like <laughs> some angry sex and then like you're gonna hate each other the next like week a week later maybe a day later we you know? never have angry sex no ben doesn't like to touch bodies when he's no. angry no fuck no you don't, don't fucking touch me <laughs> kind of thing you know what i mean i will mm. I will yeah. throw a bitch fit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm BF all day, man. <laughs> What's BF? Bitch fit? Bitch fit, yeah. That's a new one. It's from White Chicks. Have you never... She don't watch those kind of movies. Those are Ben's kind of movies. Those are Ben's movies. Yeah. The we'll B movies. We'll <laughs> I know. So, Jerry Springer is a great movie. He Jerry Seinfeld, sorry. And uh, the B movie you just mentioned? Yeah. The B movie? Oh! It's a great movie. I love that movie. I hate that movie. I think it's awesome. I've never been able to stand that movie. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo! <laughs> That's so funny. It's a great movie! <laughs> so, I keep wanting to keep it to myself, but I can't. Tom McDonald released oh. the new song. Wow, she's throwing this shout out like three times. Tom, you need to, you need to holler at your boy here. It's called Ghost. And oh, I, I'm gonna get good, man. I'm gonna get a tattoo. I'm thinking tonight, and um, that's I'm, right, y'all. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with this song because it. <laughs> I've been looking for a song to accurately portray my feelings for the last couple of days, and when I listened to this, it was like clicked. I was like, she, it hit her harder than it hit me for sure. I noticed because well, you just can't stop talking about it. So, <laughs> well, now I gotta shut down because <laughs> no, no, I can't be vulnerable. Okay, that's fair. I will not get a tattoo. <laughs> what would you get a tattoo of? Till I'm a ghost. Till I'm a ghost? Yeah. But it's going to say, till I'm a, and then it's going to be a little drawing of a ghost. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you like it? Yeah. Can it be a Pac-Man ghost? <laughs> Just no. for cool aesthetics. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do frivolous Gaming. tattoos. What's a frivolous? Frivolous is like. You, Silly and goofy. This is the third time I've asked you what a word was during this podcast. Just so you know. You're welcome. You're learning. Frivolous is like silly and goofy and just kind of like not so serious. Why so serious? So I have this tattoo with me. <laughs> and yeah. it's and very I'm like, serious. I'm like, pain, anarchy. It's a very serious <laughs> tattoo. And that's the funny part about it is because my 10 year old son drew this. My stepson. Yeah, I have to say that or his mom will get mad at me. No, you don't have to say that. No, My 10-year-old right. son drew this beat because he his papa died. And he still, and he was like very sad. And yet throughout the whole course of that, you know, grieving, he found an entrepreneurship where he drew bees and sold them with his friends. He drew them on nice paper, cut them out, colored them in. Through his them. depression, he found this incredible outlet. For a quarter apiece. So this I is bought my, eight. This is my quarter <laughs> worth. And uh, <laughs> That's it's one of I, my It's because I wanted a realistic bee because I have a, a huge phobia of bees. And so I thought a bee tattoo, and then I thought a bee tattoo. So this is my bee. It means the entire world to me. I don't know. I'm sure it means the entire world to him, but he's 10 and he's yep. never going to do that. That's the original drawing Jason drew. I bought this for a quarter. Yes. And there. Look I traced it. Boom. <laughs> Even all the way down to this part right there. Even down to the airs. Yes. It's, it's beautiful. It's Except beautiful I'm, I'm not the best tattoo artist, so I did my best. It looks great. It looks like a 10 year old drew it. Yeah. In a good great. way. <laughs> so, that is the most like frivolous tattoo I've ever gotten. Right? You Think of all my what's tattoos. frivolous again? <laughs> Silly, goofy, not <laughs> Okay, so okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, we both have cats on our back. They're matching, but no, that's not silly or goofy. 
Uh, not a hugger is pretty silly. No, it's not. It's serious. She's serious. Don't hug me. No. Um, Unless I hug you and you feel like I want to hug you. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do a Pac-Man ghost, but I'll do a cute little ghost. I can't do a Pac-Man ghost because I'm not much of a gamer, so I don't want to front. You know? I like Fortnite. People be I like, do, do you remember ghost. this and this? Do you remember the 1986 version of Pac-Man? I'm like, nope. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not much of a gamer, so. I like Fortnite. I like Dreamcast. That was a What's good one. that? <laughs> Genesis, Sega. Oh, okay. Can you remember that? So anyway, Dreamcast is a good. Tom yeah. McDonald's song is really good, <sighs> and I want the world to know that because that is how he's I feel. He's talking about all the millions of people and, and the heroes he's met. He's never met anyone as special as his partner. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> Not a hugger. Hands off. Huh? Ah. Like the angry words. <laughs> Remember? Ah! Oh, free hug. And then he goes, right? oh. <laughs> ah. Leave so, your kids with anybody except that guy. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> huh? I can't believe they said that in children. Huh? Ah. So, as we navigate the waters of this Mercury retrograde, it started off really bad. <laughs> It started off really rocky. Yeah, we got to we got to control. We were tussling quick, a little, pretty quick. Though. Without the physical part, we no, were, were yeah, they're never physical. Uh uh It was like she beat me once. Slight, slight snaps at each other, until I said, "Check yourself," and then he checked himself, and now we're like getting along a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Uh, you're really good at improving yourself and working on yourself. So. Bending over backwards, yeah. I Is that what a, you do? I take a good beating, yeah. Yeah, yeah I beat <laughs> senselessly. Super beat. I wear makeup every day to hide these What? Bruises. What? In the butt. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is in the butt? That's not what he says, not once. And I was waiting I don't for care. It. it sounds like it. He's like, do you want to be in my butt? In my butt? Something like that. So. Why did the dog just bark? Dogs bark. Not in the house. <laughs> not our dog. He's not in the house. Maybe the kids are at the door. Hmm. So the kids, we sent them off to their nanas, which is right down the road. We didn't send them off. She, they, she celebrates Christmas, right? So they had a bunch of presents, of course. Naturally, every year they spend it there. I'm going to send them there. Because they love their nana. They She's love a their great nana. woman. Yeah. So they're over there opening presents. Yeah. So we don't know when she, they're going to pop in. She does the whole thing like Christmas Eve dinner, Stockings. Decorating yeah. the tree. Uh, like, uh, cookies and milk. She is a wonderful Leo. She She's a really good grandma. For sure. Yeah, dogs are going crazy now. So. Pause. Get out of here. Oh. Oh my God. Fuck. G-Mod's here. Pause that. 